Okay, everyone, get ready for our next speaker is David Elmerall, who I have said many times, he's certainly one of the most prominent tech leaders in the nation. He's CEO of Multisys Technologies. Just a fantastic story of building a successful operation from scratch that is now having a very big impact, both in the private sector and the public sector, some of the organizations that he is working with to make our government services better is astounding. So please welcome David Elmerall, CEO of Multisys Technologies. So glad to have you with you, David. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Richard and the Asia CEO Forum for having me in today's Tech Summit. I am deeply humbled to be one of your guest speakers today. I'm excited to share my insights on my topic today, purpose-driven IT solutions. There are thousands of software solutions that you can think of or any company can build. And there are millions of ideas that anyone can think of. But Multisys would like to focus on two things. We focus on relevance and we focus on necessity. Time is of the essence and critical decisions must be made. That's why business paranoia can be a good thing to survive and to thrive in this new normal. As the Philippine economy is slowly resumed with the easing down of public health regulations and distancing protocols, most Filipino businesses still feel the pain brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. The World Bank conducted a recent survey of more than 74,000 firms across industries in the country. And surprisingly, only 5% of these businesses reopened, while 40% began partial operation. Studies have also suggested that the country remains a starter when it comes to digital transformation. On this Tech Summit, allow me to share our deep passion that drives Multisys to move forward with the intention to help more people uplift their lives through technology. Let me underscore the seven key sectors that we would like to focus on. Before the pandemic, a lot of businesses were affected since they do a traditional way of doing business. Physically or manually operated businesses were hit badly since people cannot transact physically. Private businesses, government, retail, banks, academe, health institution, and even the entertainment industry. Our goal is not to compete, but rather become a digital economy enabler to these sectors. Providing innovations and strong simplified foundation will allow our partners to build their own digital play on top of them. That's why we identified seven digital key sectors. We have e-business, e-commerce, e-government, e-finance, e-learning, e-health, and e-games. Retail store were badly hit. We have more than 900,000 SMEs, and 400 of them are now dependent on online selling with a very complex payment and delivery processes. We need somehow to provide them an e-commerce platform for them to use and help them stand and uh, do business again through an end-to-end e-commerce platform. One of them might be our Starbucks platform. On e-banking, there were more than 500 active banks with uh, 12,000 branches and financial institutions with hundreds of thousands of physical branches. And according to BSP, there are nearly 7, 70 million Filipinos who are making and receiving payments. How can we assist them and somehow help them? That's why we build our Paybox platform. The government was also hit badly. Most of the government transactions were done face-to-face -face before. Paper-based documents, cash-dependent transactions, and manual-based processing. There are dozens of national government agencies and maybe hundreds of commissions and uh, bureaus. We have more than 1,700 local government units with 43,000 barangays. How can we provide ease of doing business to them? Cut red tape and expedite their processes. That's why we build the smart government and our smart city platform. There are more than 1 million registered businesses in the Philippines and take note, only 4,700 are considered large businesses. That's even less than 1% of the whole business market in the country. 
meaning most of the businesses cannot afford expensive systems to use. That's why we implement our Stockbox platform. This is a rapid way to develop and deploy simplified websites and mobile applications as their starting point to have their own digital play. On Academ, we have like uh, 2,300 educational institutions like schools, universities, and training centers, not counting other learning centers. That's like 25 million students in a year, according to DepEd. We hope that our Schoolbox platform can help them even in a very small way. On eHealth, we have like 1,400 hospitals, like 2,500 health centers, and more than 20,000 barangays health stations. This is a priority. We need to provide them a cheap but better alternative system. This is the reason why we develop our Healthbox platform. On entertainment and gaming, we have 43 million gamers and more than 70 million who are in social media and entertainment. That's why we have our own Gamebox platform. Our platforms are designed with a purpose, a purpose-driven IT solution that prioritizes the welfare to the people. I always believe that as we help more people, revenue will follow. As we focus on implementing impactful and relevant solutions, we can uplift the lives of Filipinos. As businesses, with different strengths, as we collaborate and join forces, I think we can make a big difference. Collaborating with our partners has been a huge contributor to our success ever since and especially with the pandemic. Without our partners, we will not be where we are today. Before I end my presentation, I'd like to share with you a verse from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, uh, let us not become tired of doing good. As just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessings if we do not give up. Our situation may be difficult, but uh, with the proper tools and technologies in place, bouncing back from the economy is possible. Once again, thank you, HSEO. I'm really humbled to be here today and have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.